The thing about classic cocktails is they have a long, rich, fascinating history. Almost any cocktail you'll ever have, if you look back far enough, is likely based on or some variation of something that somebody else has already done. We broke down the menu into eras. We start off with the Golden Age, which arguably the mid-1700s. And there's things like a gimlet on the, the Golden Age part of it. Prohibition, I think, is the next discernible era. That would span, obviously, from the beginning of the 20s till the early 1930s. A lot of cocktails that spawned from that era were actually a means just to cover up bad gin or watered down spirits or things that were just invented altogether. The thing about the Tiki era was this was right around the time there was any kind of media. So a lot of newspapers, television was brand new. Um, again, bartenders were becoming stars. And so they were very, very secretive with their recipes and their cocktails. They call that the dark ages because uh, to be honest, drinks had just gotten terrible. People weren't really drinking anything but vodka and some kind of mixer. This is, would be the mid to late 70s. And in the 80s, uh, they almost got worse. So what we've done mostly is take, taken some of those old cocktails, recreated the general flavor and feel of them without them being terrible. You have to have some originals. You know, you have to have some things that you've created your own or people just don't think you're worth your sand. It's exciting to be able to create something on your own, but more importantly than that, to be able to create something and then present it to somebody else and have them be super excited about it. Well, I feel like a lot of times with drinks like the Game Changer, people mostly order it out of curiosity. We'll get them to have that first sip. Also, if someone's on the fence enough, one line I like to use a lot and that my bartenders do is, hey, if you don't like it, I'll drink it. You know? And that's usually like a pretty good seller right there. Our focus is to not just pay homage to those old cocktails, but hopefully be able to tweak them or twist them in some way to show people something that they've never had before. Maybe something they've never even heard of, something awesome.